Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Pisces, we have the Nine of Wands, the Knight, excuse me, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Then we have the Courtship card. So it looks like, all right, somebody's already married or already in a relationship, but they could be coming to you. They could be visiting you. They're like in and out. They, they kind of, you guys are kind of far away from each other. You either visit them, they visit you. It's about fun and the sun, having fun. This person could look good. They, they, you know, they dress well. They know what to say. They smell good. They do the right things. They wear the right cologne or the perfume. But they're there for sexual conquest. They're not there for a long time. They're there for a good time. They're not trying to lay roots. There's somebody who's not trying to lay roots in, the, in a relationship. It could just be dating. You know, somebody wants to have a long-term dating situation. They don't know if they want to get married. They could want you as a solid person or a stable person in their life. They're not sure if they want to have, like, the traditional lifestyle, husband, wife, home, white picket fence, dog, cat, children. It seems as if when things do get really close, maybe this person withdraws. Or they leave. There's also somebody leaving and seeing somebody else. And um, there's a question of somebody, uh, you know, somebody's infidelity. There's a need for someone also to grow up, to mature emotionally. Emotional maturity. Somebody's extremely immature. Um, in this courtship, somebody is dating to be married. But another person could just be dating to because it's fun, you know. They enjoy the energy. They enjoy the companionship. It looks like two people are not on the same, um, the same accord. It could be um, the same sex connection. Okay, um, it doesn't have to be, but it could be. Uh, what else do we have here? It just looks like two people want two different things. Somebody could feel like they're just undeserving of real love. Okay. Um, so somebody's, they feel like they're undeserving of real love. Real love doesn't exist. And they're not, that's not what they're looking for. There's somebody who wants to be, you know, in a long-term committed relationship. But at the same time, um, the other person doesn't want, they don't want the same thing. And, and then somebody could want someone to be like a long-term girlfriend or boyfriend. Like we can just be together we don't have to get married we don't have to make it official but but know that we're together on on whatever level somebody is currently being used and they know it um somebody is just mean and nasty to be around there's definitely a secret love affair maybe a secret child or definitely a secret affair um somebody just cannot maintain a relationship and they're not looking to they can't maintain a relationship because they they have that flighty energy. They're a club hopper. They're about the party. There could be jealous friends. Um, somebody is definitely um, a big flirt, okay? Um, this relationship is going to take a whole lot of work, or there has been a whole lot of work put in this relationship, and somebody's not getting what they want from it. And it could just be because both of you don't want the same thing. And if you had a conversation with your person, you realize that what you're looking for may not be what they're looking for and vice versa. Um, and then that could really clear up a lot of issue. Um, somebody, yeah, um, somebody is, is being used. Like somebody went from rags to riches. Uh, somebody understands that somebody has a lot of money and whatever... Um, Whatever this person does, they're just going to deal with it. They're going to tolerate it. Uh, yeah, they're going to work with it um, because uh, they're in a place of, you know, luxury now. They're in sudden wealth. Somebody feels like that if they marry this person, they're going to marry into money. Okay. 
Someone could be going from rags to riches because of their occupation, their profession. This will be work that they do kind of independently, independent contractor, business owner, uh, side hustle, gig work. Um, It could be yielding you, you know, maybe a large sum of money. Uh, There's also somebody wanting to marry into money. If someone's dealing with somebody's frustrating ways because they have money. And that matters. And we see that with um, a whole lot of money. But look, somebody's saying, I'm never getting a divorce. So whomever, if you're dealing with somebody who's married or even couple, they're not leaving that situation. They do want you to be a part of their life, uh, but they're not leaving their relationship. Even though they're not physically attracted to their partner, um, somebody knows that they're being used because somebody is materialistic as F. Okay. Uh, but they don't care either. The person with money doesn't care because they feel like it's an even exchange, um, fair exchange, you know, sex for money or whatever. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. And if you can't do any of that, you can just let me know how this reading resonates for you down in the comments uh, comment section. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you.